What's good with you today? Uh, welcome back for a little bit more of some Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Alright, now look, I've been having fun with the game so far. I've enjoyed the Dorn storyline that kind of we got going on here. Um, I've enjoyed, like, you know, the Calvary part of the game. It's been fun playing that. Uh, I've learned a lot from the game. I'm not such a noob now, <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty fun. Um, however, I've been kind of watching, you know, the battles, and I kind of want to do some melee. So I want to start up a, a new campaign. We're not going to stop the Dorn storyline. I'm going to keep doing that as well. But I just want to do a different campaign for melee. So if I want to do melee, we can do this campaign. If I want to do cavalry, we can do the Dorn campaign. So that'll, that'll be pretty fun. But I figure for this one, we'll go with the Sturgeons. We'll do like a Nordic theme. We'll make them Vikings. So the 20% less speed penalty from the snow. It's going to help us in the snow, right? <laughs> but other than that, yeah. I was thinking the Batanians, because they get 30% in forest, and forests are everywhere. But nah, this looks a whole lot more Viking, right? So let's go with that. Okay, don't really care about that. Let's do the hair, though. All right, he's got to have a beard. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. All right, so we want to do melee. I was thinking one hand and shield. So figure is going to be important because, you know, melee combat uh, it represents your ability to move with speed and force. We're going to focus on one hand here and try to build figure up. And then I was thinking endurance and athletics, because it's physical fitness, speed, and balance. And endurance is the ability to perform taxing physical activities for a long time. So we're going to need those those stats pumped up as much as we can for our combat. All right. And I was also thinking maybe crossbow or throwing for a ranged attack. I'm kind of leaning more toward throwing, though. So if they start running, we can chunk something at them. That'll be kind of fun. All right. So that's that's where our main priority is one-handed and endurance with a secondary for throwing. And we're going to be looking at vigor and endurance. All right. So you were born into a family of a boyer's companion. So that's riding in two-handed with a point in social. Nope. Urban traders, trade and tactics with a point in cunning. Nah. Free farmers, athletics, polearm with a point in endurance. That's not bad. Urban artisans, smithing and one-handed with a point in intelligence. Okay. Now smithing wouldn't be bad because we want to build our own weapons. I think Weapons and armor. Okay, so let's do this as a secondary as well. So our secondaries are going to be smithing and throwing. And we have endurance that's going to help with our smithing. So that, that'll work. So we'll do we'll do urban artisans. Unless hunters, scouting, bow, vigor, nah. Ruggery, throwing, and control. Uh, let's do urban artisans. Smithing and one-handed. Gives us a point in intelligence. That's fine. That's fine. It's good to be smart, right? All right. As a child, you were noted for your brawn. Two-handed and throwing. Uh, Two-handed, we don't really need. Point and vigor, though. That's good. Attention to detail. After two with numbers, your way with people. Charm and leadership and social. No, skill with horses, writing, and medicine. Medicine wouldn't be bad. No, we're going to go with brawn. Throwing and two-handed with a point in vigor. All right. Growing, growing up, you spent most of your time at the town. Watches training ground. Crossbow and tactics with a point in control. Uh, with the alley gangs, roguery and one-handed with a point in cunning. At docks and building sites, athletics and smithing with a point to vigor. 
I like it. Because that's supposed to have been our priority, and we haven't gotten a point there yet. So that'll give us a point in our priority, a second point in our secondary smithing, and then vigor. I like it. Trading charm, nah. Reading and studying, nah. Working at the stables, nah. Alright, so at docks and building sites, athletics and smithing and a point to vigor. As a youngster growing up in Colorado, war was never too far away. You trained with the hearth guard, riding in pole arm, mm. stood guard with the garrisons, bow and engineering with a point intelligence, nah. Rode with the scouts, riding in bow, point endurance, nah. Trained with the infantry, pole arm, one handed, that's with a point in vigor. We don't really need the pole arm, but that gives us a second point in one handed. And a point vigor. Let's see. Join the skirmishers. Throwing in one handed. And a point in control. Use strength. Without sacrificing precision. It's necessary for using ranged weapons. Okay. So that's something we don't really. Need a whole lot of. It's secondary. But throwing. Get a point of other secondary. And a point in our primary, one-handed. Let's do join, skir join the skirmishes. Or we can go with pole arm. But we're going to be throwing in. We could use that point. Let's do skirmishers. We're not going to be using a whole lot of pole arms or two-handed. At least that's the goal anyway. Alright, let's do that. All right, before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was you defeated an enemy in battle. One-handed and two-handed, point and vigor. All right. You saved your city quarter from a fire, tactics and leadership, cunning, nah. You invested some money in a workshop, trade and smithing with intelligence, nah. You survived a siege, bow and crossbow, point control, nah. You had a famous escapade, athletics roguery and endurance that's not bad we get it we get a second point in our other primary we get a point in endurance which we need and roguery isn't bad i think that'll help us more than having a two-handed we treated people well nah okay so we go with athletics and endurance or we go with one-handed and a point in vigor. You defeated an enemy in battle. I just... We gotta do that if we're gonna be a melee, right? Had a famous escapade isn't quite the same. Yeah, they knew this Viking was gonna be on the front lines from an early age. Alright. Like many families in Colorado, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... You subdued a raider. One-handed and athletics with a point to vigor. Can't really. That is what we want. There's nothing that's going to come close. I um, drove him off with arrow tactics. And, no. Fast horse riding the sky. No. You tricked the raiders. Rigory. No. You organized the travelers to break out. Leadership. No. You subdued a raider. One-handed and athletics with vigor. Alec. No. How about... Kiarl? What about Kiarl? Yeah, I like Kiarl. Kiarl. Alright, determine the game difficulty. Well, this is my first time doing melee, so we'll keep 
the reduced player damage, so I'm just not dying every fight. Friendly troops receive damage. Mm, friendly parties receive... Let's turn these down to easy. Recruitment difficulty, very, let's turn that down to easy too. Map movement speed. All right, let's, let's keep that very easy. All right, all right, everything else is good. All right, so here we go. So enters the world, Kjarl. All right, my brother is on. Brother, it's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fodor and Alishka? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we could spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Uh, let's go on then. Play the combat. Nah, let's not do the tutorial. I'm ready, let's go. All right. You're at the training field. You can learn the basics of combat. Now nah, we're good. Brother, before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better writer than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. Let's go. All right. Refugees. Alright, let's go to the Tibia. Your party is starving. You lose five morale. That's not good. Right, let's walk around town. We're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The head man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. over there. I am Lecaligan, head man of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too? Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Leave your mission tag you. All right. Yep, yep. Alright, so let's recruit some troops. Give me all those. Alright, let's buy some product. Buy product, consume product, expensive product. 80%. Really, this town saw me coming, didn't they? Alright, need to, oh. Um, got ripped off in Tivia. Right, brother, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the head man again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who came through here from time to time. Name of Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders come through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type. 
Just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for him, this Tactius, we'd be very grateful, maybe. If he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. That guy was very smiley, wasn't he? <laughs> Ooh. Uppercut, uppercut. All right. Uh, so defeat three parties, easy, easy. Well, there's two up here and one down there. Let's go after these two. Get them, boys. Their horses are so much faster than mine. Boy, they like hitting trees. It's going to be a lot more fun when I'm on foot. Ugh. Swing and a miss. Oh my gosh, come on, the guy die. Die, guy die. Come here, you. Got him. Roar. Oh, there's another one. Come here, you. Where's Tactus? Where's Tactus? <laughs> Got him! He thought he was going to make it, didn't he? Northern Blade. Thrust 31, cut 47. Alright. Then we got some fish harpoons. Javies. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. That's going to be so cool. We could, like, toss our javy in before we go in melee. That's going to be awesome. None of the other people are around. There's some raiders. Alright, so we need one more group after this. Oh, I'm still hurt.
Whoa, they wasted those guys. <laughs> that was great. Oh no. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Don't let him get away. They'll go tell their boys. Get him, get him, get him. Don't let him get away. Nice, nice. He ate that tree up, though, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> I just got the nice Oh! <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's a prisoner. Oh, I leveled. I leveled. Right, let's see. Out of here. That's better. Forty-two blunt. Forty-seven cut. Ah, any better than what I have. We're going to be using some of our secondary, like blacksmithing skill, probably soon to try to make a sword. I haven't done any kind of like blacksmithing in this game yet, so that'll be interesting to see how that works. We need one more group, though. Here we. What? There they are. We got him. I gotta give myself a head start or they'll beat me to him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to get much better with a one-handed weapon for sure. Oh no, wasted! Get them, boys! Hey, at least my horse didn't die though. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Nice, nice. Yep. So there's probably what one more. There he is. Go get him. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Yeah, go get him. Nice. So three groups defeat it now. That should do that, right? Oh, we... St uh, you rescue several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. Oh, it's Tactius. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tactius. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest. But now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. 
I was with the caravan and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way of thanking you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagas, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but as I say, I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. We'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and swore it was related to Naretsi's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Naretsi's was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you can find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Same Tactios. You're a cool dude. Alright, so there's Radagas' hideout. Let's go get this. Let's go get vengeance. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. My health is like half full. Let me fill up my health. Ride around the base for a minute while my health fills up. See, we should have gotten medicine. If I'd have got medicine, this would fill up quicker. And I don't really like have a bunch of food. Oh, let's level. You can use free focus points for increasing your learning limit and in individual skills. All right. One hand. Look at us. Deflect. One-handed weapons you wield have their handling increased by 20%. I like it. The troops in the formation you are leading have... Their one-handed combat effectiveness is as if they were one tier higher. I like it. Basher. Shield bashes now deal 50% more damage and stun your enemy for longer. Infantry troops take 4% less melee damage when in shield wall formation. Uh, I think the deflect. One-handed weapons you wield have their handling increased by 20%. That's nice. And troops... Have their combat, one-handed combat effectiveness as if they were one tier. That's just, yeah, I think we gotta go with that, right? And we have a uh, focus point. Let's just go ahead and spin it on one-handed and fill that up. Learning rate times 15.27. That is, that is where we want to be, folks. That's, that's good. We've already got riding up to four, and we haven't really ridden much. Okay. We, we're going to start working on throwing, too. We, we should be able to use our, our peel-off and just chunk that sucker before we run into murder, folks. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. All right, we're done. Let's look at our troops. Radagos Raider. He wants to join us. You're in. Uh, apply the changes. All right, fine, right. We found it. All right. We are just waiting for a little bit more health. How's our inventory though? Grain one. One grain.
Oh, uh, so. I think once we get up to 60%, that'll be good enough. They already got a 100-person army. Come on, two more percent. Let's go. Get our kinfolk. Follow me. Matter of fact, charge. going boys we're going up here all right let's do it mountain climbing skill where are we going Get him, get him, get him. This dude just chilling up on a barrel. Where's he going? Nice. So, who's this that comes through my place of business killing my employees? We heard he took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven, I'll need a better description than that. My men have invested dozens of little... Harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. I already sent most of them south to a slave market, I know, though. Since you hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that or I force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one-on-one. -on -one. Nah, my men need experience. Nice. 
Patagos' raider took off on us. Ragos. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You'd better help us get our brother and sister back or you'll swing from a tree. Oh, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back. Alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that it's for your little dears. That's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cozy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. Okay. Radagoss' raider. This dude ran. He's got to go. We can't have him in our group. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Tactius mentioned to you that had something to do with Noretzi's folly. Mazon. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece, though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. All right, then. Let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed. You'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Tactico, Tactio said it could be worth the fortune to the right person. If you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles and it will be easier for me to find you by asking around. Uh... I mean, I don't know what our family name is, though. So we'll make up a new one. How about... Uh... Kjarl... Fjordensen. Fjordensen. There you go. Kjarl Fjordensen. Alright, a banner. Well, it's gotta be blue, right? Sickle color. Make that green. It's going to be one of these down here, I think. I like these. Or, let's do it. Let's do it design. I 
I like this one. Let's do this one. All right, tutorial's over, and you're free to explore. Cool. All right, so let's see what our quests are. Establish your clan. Increase your dinars to two thousand. Get to a party of twenty. Get fifty renown and hire a companion. Okay. And Ritz is folly. Talk to ten nobles. All right. So it looks we got looks like we got quite a bit of grinding to do. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grind out these first two quests. Uh, try to build us a little small army. Well, I guess not much of an army, but a little small raiding party and uh, find out some information about this relic that we got all right um yeah if, if you watch to the end of this of this i really do appreciate it thank you very much uh, if you are experienced at this game or have any tips by all means please leave them down in the comments i'll take all the advice i can get from more experienced players it'd be much appreciated and uh hope you boys have a good night and we'll, we'll we'll pick up after i get this after i get a little bit of grinding done um i'll i will record it so if you guys do want to see it just to know that i did it or whatever i didn't i don't know but if you ever want to see it just let me know leave a comment i'll post it if you want to see it but if not We'll just pick up um, before I turn in one of the next two quests or complete them, whatever. All right, guys. Well, y'all take care. Have a good night.